Hi team. Good morning. And also good evening. So in this video, we are going to learn how to launch the Chrome browser using the version 115. In Selenium 4, with Chrome browser 115 onwards, so many changes has been happened. So we are going to learn how to launch that step by step. First, let's try to understand few fundamentals. To launch the Chrome browser, we need that Chrome browser and then Chrome driver. So these two browser and the respective API, Chrome driver.exe file is needed. And this is what we were doing till now. But from 115 version onwards, some changes has been happened. First, you go to help and check about your Chrome version. It is 115. Let's go to selenium.dev. We are going to use, click on downloads. We are going to use 4.11 and then come down under the browser chrome browser click on documentation before and all we have a separate page where every versions will be updated but that is still 114 only but from now that is from 115 onwards we have to use chromium browser a separate browser in the it is not in it is not uh, done by the um, what to say by the selenium team the separate browser launched by the google and you see here as per this you have to go for this the chrome for testing availability dashboard this one this is like old versions old versions means 114 so 114 if you are using you have to download this exe file so this 114 driver file and the existing your Chrome browser, it will work. But if it is 115, what we need to do, we have to go for this dashboard, Chrome for testing dashboard. I will try to mention this in the video description. Here we have stable version beta development canary. What always go for the stable version? Stable version is 115 and uh, based on your platform you have to download the browser and also the driver file so i am using windows 64 first let me download the browser how to download copy this and then paste it in an url automatically download it will start let's wait for a while So based on the operating system, copy this URL and paste it in a copy this particular URL, paste it here. This will download it. I will I have already downloaded that file. You can see a Chrome Win 64. So let me right click and uh, extract here, extract all. This is nothing but the Chromium browser. See, let me go inside this. You can see here, Chrome. Double click on this, run, and you can see Chrome for testing for the version 115. So going forward, we need to download this browser and uh, use it for our testing and uh, it is also clearly set for regular browsing what we can do use the standard version of chrome standard version of chrome means this is the standard version and uh, what about this this is for testing purpose what is the name of that it is chromium see here for the test even the logo is also changed the name of that is chromium so we must need 
this particular browser setup in your local in order to test for Chrome browser. First step is done. The second step, browser is done. Then we want to download the driver file. Let me launch this URL according to your OS minus 64 download that chrome driver.exe the download is completed let's go to the downloads see this is the file now let me right click extract all so 64 chrome driver.exe two files we needed one is browser another one is driver file so here we are using chromium browser this is for testing now what is the next step let's try to add the dependencies mvn repository java selenium we are going to use 4.11 copy this add in the dependencies and i'm using jdk 11 when you use java whenever you use selenium 4 the best version is jdk 11 don't go with 1.8 it's not the right one so right click on maven form.xml maven update project force update okay this will solve all the errors of form.xml so the build process is completed let's check see the version of jdk is 11 and the dependencies also i added 4.11 so first setup is completed let's try to create a class launch application and then okay the package name must be in lowercase no so it's not an increased one com next gen ai selenium 4 or selenium finish so we created a class file first let's try to set the system property for the particular driver file system dot set property the key the key is web driver dot chrome dot driver and path of that driver file nothing but let's go to download this is the path slash chrome.exe let me mention the path so first step is completed like how we do it in other versions the next step is in order to launch the browser i have to tell we have to use chromium browser no so chrome option needs to be used so create object instance for the chrome option chrome options object name equal to new chrome options now using that object set the binary path Not, nothing but exactly where that chromium browser is located let's go to that one this is the unzipped file go to this one so this this particular file we need to mention nothing but chrome.exe so this is a browser chromium browser mention the binary path once this is done after that the regular steps like creating object instance for the chrome driver in the web driver interface web driver object name new 
for the Chrome driver and you are passing the Chrome option. So this will launch the empty URL. Now driver dot get mention the URL. So I'll mention this URL. Once we launch the URL, we will maximize it. No, oh, semicolon. Let's try to execute this program and see what happens. So it launched the browser. And you see here, it uses the Chromium one, Chrome for testing version 115. And uh, this is our going forward. We have to test using this particular Chromium only. See here, Chromium. This is not Chrome. So using this is how we need to launch the application. But in their updates, what they have mentioned it from the version 4.11, we no need to mention this. This will be automatically, it will download. This is what said in the blog. But if I comment this code and run means it's not working. I think they are still fixing the issue. See here, we are getting this error. It's 500 response. Mostly you will be getting this error only. Session not created. So what you need to do is you have to follow the setup. Maybe in future, like of now 4.11, right? 12 something if it comes, this line alone, you have to comment it. The rest of them remains the same. We have to use the Chromium browser. For that, we need to create the object instance. But for now, we have to tell exactly where that Chrome driver option also. So you are go here from this, come to the dashboard, stable version, exactly tell where the Chrome is there and Chrome driver. This is Chromium browser. This is .exe file. I hope you all understood how to launch the Chrome browser in the latest version. So from 115 onward, you should follow this step. And uh, for other browsers, the process remains the same. Only for Chrome, Chrome browser, this process needs to be followed. So that's about this topic team. Thank you.